Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, oi pessoal, tudo bem com você? Got a lovely hat on today because my hair is it's not for the audience, it's an absolute mess. Obrigado por todos os comentários no meu último vídeo. I enjoyed very much to make that video last week. So today, in town OG, eu vou falar sobre... Uh, how do you say this? In town OG... Eu vou falar sobre idiomas, idiomas, inglês, ingleses, idiomas ingleses, idiomas ingleses. Yes, I've written some of these down for you. Um, these are like the common idioms, English idioms, idioms, if you like. So what I'm going to try and do is first I'll explain them to you, and I might just throw them into Google Translate to see what happens when I try to translate them in Portuguese. It might be funny. Let's not waste any more time. Se inscreve no meu canal. Vale com Jake. Before we start, se inscreve no meu canal. Se inscreve no meu canal. That I'm likey. That I'm likey. Comenta e compartilha. Yeah! So the first one I have, Bob's your uncle. It's pretty much just a way to conclude something. We never know who Bob is. We still don't know who Bob is till this day. But Bob's your uncle, it just means when you've completed something. You might go to the shop and uh, you come back from shopping and Bob's your uncle. That's it, you're done. Bob é seu tio. Perfectly translates. Bob is your uncle. Next, not my cup of tea. Now, meu... Shy English, a wild guess. Now, Emina Shikarajisha. That just means that it's something that you don't like. Uh, maybe you don't like kashasa. It's just not my cup of tea. And you're not talking about tea, literally. You're just talking about it's not your type of thing. It's something that you do not like. Under the weather. So this is something, it's, it's a feeling. Um, if you're feeling a bit ill, maybe you are, maybe you've got the, the virus. Maybe you've got COVID-19. And you're going to say, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I think I might have. Coronavirus. Under the weather is when you're not feeling very well. You might just be very tired. Sob o clima. Sob o clima. I don't know if that works. Next one we have to go pear shaped. This just means when something goes wrong. Literally nothing else. Very simple. To go pear shaped. When, when something goes wrong. Para ir em forma de pera. Para ir em forma de pera. Interesting. To go pear shaped. What is pear in Portuguese? Pera. Maybe that translates. Seems seems like it's right. Okay, so the next one we have a piece of cake. This is just when something's easy. If you're doing something and you find it very easy, or you're doing a task and you find it very easy to do, you just say that was a piece of cake. So to translate in Portuguese, I'm going to put into Google Translate. Muito fácil. Muito fácil. See, very, ooh, very easy. That, that translates perfectly. That's exactly what it means. It's when something is easy. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, mate. Sound Australian. End of the day is a very British expression. Just means like to conclude something. We're going into a, we're going into quarantine again. But at the end of the day, there's nothing we could do about it. No fim do dia. No fim do dia. No fim de, no fim do dia. At the end of the day. Okay, next one. My neck of the woods is like your area, your your where you grew up. I grew up in Bristol. Bristol's my neck of the woods. If someone says, ah, oh, I'm going down to Bristol this weekend, I'll say, that's my neck of the woods. And in Portuguese? Meu pescoço da floresta. Meu pescoço da floresta. Floresta. I like it. Next one. This one's very common in England and I'm quite curious to how this is going to translate in Portuguese. So we say give someone stick. To give someone stick is like uh, to... <sighs> what the hell does it mean? To give someone stick. I know what, I know how to say it. Ah, okay. It means like when you criticize or when you judge someone, you, you give someone a bit of stick, you know, like uh, if someone's, if you're working with someone and they're not working very hard, you might say to them, do you mind, you know, speeding up the work a little bit? And they might say to you, why do you keep giving me stick? Why do you keep bothering me? Why do you keep criticizing me? In Portuguese. Dê uma vara para alguém. Dê uma vara para alguém. Próximo. 
throw a spanner in the works. This just means when something goes wrong. I was traveling in Brazil this year, then the pandemic started, it threw a spanner in the works. It just ruined everything, it made everything go wrong. Portuguese. Jogue uma chave inglesa nas obras. It's interesting because that's like a something about an English key. Jogue uma chave inglês nas obras. Throw a spanner in the works. Don't know if that translates very well. Next one, pot called in the ke pot called in the kettle black. So this is something that came up last week in my video when I did Portuguese when I did Brazilian expressions. So I think that this is going to translate well. Sujo falando do esfarrapado. Sujo falando do esfarrapado. Ah shit. <laughs> That's not what I said last week. Google Translate's playing games with me. What is farrapado? Sujo falando do esfarrapado. Sujo falando do esfarrapado. esfarrapado. Pot called in the kettle black. Not what it was the same last week, but if you don't know already, pot called in the kettle black is when if I said to someone, you're wearing a hat that looks silly, you know, I'm wearing a hat that might look silly. That's me calling the kettle. That's me calling the pot kettle black. Calling the... That's me calling the kettle black, yeah? It's like me saying, you know what I'm talking about. Next one, hit the sack, hit the hay. This just means you're going to bed, you're tired. Ir a cama. Eu estou muito cansado, ir a cama. Hit the sack. On the ball. So this just means you might be someone who is, you're paying attention all the time. You are aware of everything that's going on. If you're in a job and you're working in a team, you're the one who never makes mistakes. You're always on the ball. Na Don't think it really translates. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. This I use a lot. If you have a problem and it doesn't need to be solved now, it just means you say, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Like, we'll solve that problem later. And in Portuguese? Vamos cruzar essa ponte quando chegarmos a ele. That's a mouthful. Vamos cruzar essa ponte quando chegarmos, chegarmos, chegarmos. A ele. So yeah, that's, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Proximo. Don't cry over spilt milk. I think this is muito facil. Muito, muito, muito facil. I think you probably have this one in Brazil. It's very common. Não chor pelo leite derramado. Não chor pelo leite derramado. Let me know if that's right, guys. Let me know if that translates. Next, he has bigger fish to fry. When someone has something more important to do, they have bigger fish to fry. Ele tem peixes maiores para fritar. Ele tem peixes maiores para fritar. Now this one, I like this one. It ain't over till the fat lady sing. This literally just means it's not over until it's over. We use this a lot when we talk about football. It's like when your team's winning 2-0 or 2-0 and it's two minutes left, three minutes left, but you always say because it's football, be any sport but it's not over until the fat lady sings you know it's not over until it's over let's try in portuguese não acaba até que a senhora gorda cante não acaba até que a senhora gorda cante cante it doesn't end until the fat lady sings maybe it translates full of beans full of beans just means when you're excited cheio de feijões Cheio de feijões. Cheio de feijões. Cheio de feijões. Next one, similar in that it's about beans. It's spill the beans. Spill the beans means <laughs> like when you ask someone to tell a secret, you know, you say to them, spill the beans, tell me what's going on. Gossip, it's like gossiping, spill the beans. Desembucha. Desembucha. Spit it out, yes. Spit it out, spill the beans. Perfect. Once in a blue moon. This is very common expression used in English. Once in a blue moon just means when something doesn't happen very often. Muito raramente. Muito raramente. He's off his rocker. This just means when someone's a bit crazy. I don't know the origins behind it. That person's off his rocker. He's crazy. She's crazy. They are off their rocker. Ele está maluco. Ele está maluco. Yeah, she's crazy. He's crazy. They are crazy. Proximo. He's sitting on the fence. This means when someone is indecisive. They don't have an opinion about something. They're just like, uh, they, they don't make a decision. They just sit in the middle. They sit on the fence. Ele está sentado em cima do muro. Ele está sentado em cima do muro. He's sitting on the fence. 
Next one, butt of all jokes. This just means when someone is always like the at the end of a joke, when someone is always being made fun of. Like if I am with a group of people and someone keeps making jokes about me, I am the butt of all jokes. Alvo de todas as piadas. Alvo de todas as piadas. Don't know if that's necessarily an expression in Portuguese, but yeah, it's an expression in English. Finally, let's crack on. I use this a lot and it literally just means let's go, like, vamos, let's go, let's, let's crack on. And in Portuguese, vamos quebrar. Vamos quebrar. Um, yeah, what can I say? Let's go, let's break, let's do it. So, yeah, guys, that is my English expressions para vocês. Let me know if you want me to explain any more of them further. I can try to explain them in the comments. Um, but I hope that was of some use to you. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Ding. Yeah, and follow me on Instagram. I'm always open to suggestions on videos. Um, so put that in the comments if you want to suggest some video ideas to me. I've got plenty of ideas to do, but I'm happy to take your ideas as well. Send them over. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao. Até mais. Até logo. Goodbye. See you again. And also, if there's anyone that does want to sponsor me for the hat, let me know. Send me a sponsor. I'm, I'm willing to do uh, wear hats in a video for a new sponsor. Anytime, anytime, man, anytime. Anyway, I'm hungry. It's still for me, so I'm going to go eat some food. See you later, guys.